This video will show you how to design a heat exchanger using a multi-domain gyroid surface lattice. Here you can see the full design with the hot and cold fluid domains. To start, we need an outer shell which will act as a manifold for the hot and cold inlets and outlets, a volume in which the heat transfer will be performed, and lastly, the four baffle regions. One pair for the hot domain, and one pair for the cold domain, which will prevent the two fluids from mixing. To create the heat transfer surface, select the core volume and apply a surface lattice. Set the surface type to double to create two domains. Toggle the cell size to absolute mode and define the cell size as required, in this case five millimeters. To block off the other fluid at each inlet to the core, we need to create latticed baffles in each of the four baffle regions. Select the first inlet baffle volume and apply the same lattice parameters as the core, except using a single surface instead of a double. Select the outlet baffle volume for this fluid and apply the same properties as the inlet. For the other fluid domain, you will do exactly the same steps, except you will need to invert the surface lattice and do the same for both the inlet and the outlet. At this point, you should have five bodies, the core, two pairs of baffles, one for the hot domain, and one for the cold domain. The final step is to combine these five bodies into a single body. Then you can use the section view to inspect the interior of the core and ensure that the inlets and outlets are properly blocked off. If you would like to control your lattice parameters for the core using variables, you will need to define the following four variables one length variable for the cell size of the lattice, a unitless variable for the density of the double lattice core, a unitless variable for one of the baffle lattice densities, and finally another unitless variable for one of the other fluid baffle lattice densities. Do the same exact workflow as previous, except using the cell size variable for all the lattices and the correct density variables for each of the three types of lattice, the double lattice core, the single lattice baffle, and the inverse lattice baffle. Done correctly, you can now edit the variables of the lattice core, cell size, and density, which will update the design accordingly.